When you imagine yourself up there, how do you look? Does the crown fit? Do all the lords and ladies simper and bow, the ones who sneered at you for years? It's hard for them to simper and bow without heads. I think Littlefinger has a better idea of what Varys wants than Varys has an idea of what Littlefinger wants. Littlefinger is an agent of chaos who likes to uh, be unpredictable and succeeds in that. I admire you, and I admire you, Lord Baelish. A grasper from a minor house with a major talent for befriending powerful men and women. A useful talent, I'm sure you'd agree. He has his mind, and he has subtlety, and he, he climbs, and he maneuvers, and he, he has great skill with uh, finances, which is something that a lot of the higher-born nobles consider beneath them, worrying about money and stuff like that. So he's able to accumulate more and more money and more and more power and befriending everyone. He's everybody's friend. He's always very helpful. Um, and people find him very useful to their schemes. And as a result, he gets everybody's ear. He gets involved in all these plots. He's probably the most Machiavellian character in Game of Thrones. A man with no motive is a man no one suspects. Always keep your foes confused. If they don't know who you are or what you want, they can't know what you plan to do next. Know your strengths, use them wisely. One man can be worth 10,000. Every ambitious move is a gamble. As it happens, I am a betting man. So many men, they risk so little. They spend their lives avoiding danger. Then they die. I'd risk everything to get what I want. And what do you want? Everything. If they'd have executed you, what would they have done with me? I don't know. Neither do I. Better to gamble on the man you know than the strangers you don't. Do you think you know me? I know what you want. Do you? What do you want? I thought you knew what I wanted. I was wrong. No. You weren't. Every time I'm faced with a decision, I close my eyes and see the same picture. Whenever I consider an action, I ask myself, will this action help to make this picture a reality? Pull it out of my mind and into the world. And I only act if the answer is yes. A picture of me on the Iron Throne. And you by my side. One of two things will happen. Either the dead will defeat the living, in which case all our troubles come to an end, or life will win out. And what then? Don't fight in the north. The South. Fight every battle, everywhere, always, in your mind. Everyone is your enemy. Everyone is your friend. Every possible series of events is happening all at once. Live that way, and nothing will surprise you. Everything that happens will be something that you've seen before. I mean, it's an interesting character. I think they all are. You know, I think people change, and they're not always what they, you know, like say Jamie Lannister, for example. Just to pick one out, you know, he starts off one way, and then you know you think you know him, and then you're kind of going, all oh, right, he's maybe a little bit not what we thought. And I think there's a little bit of that with Littlefinger as well. Um, I hope there is anyway. And it's, it's exciting that the that George Martin is still writing the books. You know, that we don't know what's going to happen. You know, that's very exciting.
for the audience, for the people making it, you know, for the actors? Does it affect what you're, what you're doing and that you can't really play the end game because you don't really know what it is? Well, actually, I do know. And to what end? Only Littlefinger knows.